Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, so this is part four of my palette collection. And this is 100% absolutely the last video. <laughs> and I'm so excited because I'm going to get every single one of these palettes in this last video, part four. Okay, at this point, you may as well just come on in, kick off your shoes, get comfortable and relax because we like <laughs> we like family at this point, right? So, yes, if this is your first time here watching part four of my palette collection video, there are three previous videos to this. So if you love palettes, I'm sure you will enjoy watching all four. So here we go. I'm jumping right in. Not a lot of fluff. Let's just get started. So I'm just going to start grabbing palettes, okay? <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the Lorac palettes that I have in my collection. These two are extremely new. I just decided to get these from Ulta because I wanted to try them out. This is the Lorac or Lorac Pro Palette in Soleil. And this is what this one looks like. So very um, neutral, warm tone you know, but super gorgeous, half matte, half shimmer. This one is the Lorac Pro Noir. So this one is the more cool tone type neutral palette, and it goes a little bit deeper, and it's set up a little bit differently. It's not like the half and half situation. Looks like this one has more shimmers actually, but very, very pretty. So I'm really curious about these. And then my last Lorac palette, um, I actually picked this up, I think, two holiday seasons ago. And I just really wanted to have a little bit of color from Lorac in my collection. So this is what that one looks like. I think it's from holiday 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's jump into some of these Urban Decay palettes this is my latest urban decay palette i believe the stone vibes i mean it's a cute palette i think i go back and forth with it it's totally not necessary it's not anything groundbreaking in my opinion but i think it is pretty cool you know a mainstream brand doing so many different like duo chrome type shimmers they and they are really pretty so yeah that's that Mainly got that for the packaging, for sure. <laughs> this Naked Reloaded. Uh, yeah. Don't even ask. <laughs> Don't even ask. That's what she looks like. This Naked Heat. I actually um, am most likely going to declutter this. Give it away. I never use it. But this is what she looks like. This is, what is this called? The Urban Decay Distortion. I've had this for quite a little while. It's a really neat palette, actually. I really like uh, what it does. It's like these super lighter topper type shimmers. They kind of transform your look, you know, when you put them on top of other shades. These shimmers are really pretty. The black is a nice base. So I keep this, even though I don't really use it that often, because when I do remember to play with it it's a lot of fun this palette here i believe i got it during the was it the 2019 holiday season or prior to i don't know this is the elements palette fell in love with this um i just thought the packaging was just so so pretty and the colors inside are absolutely gorgeous i think i've used this once i don't remember it's been so long but just looking at it, I'm like, ooh, I need to jump into that because that's really pretty. So really gorgeous. And it's round, so, you know, a little different. This here is, what is this? I don't even remember what this is. Hmm. Hold, please. You guys, I cannot remember the name of this palette, and I don't see it on here anywhere. Um, Dang it. And I know I know the name of this palette, too. But anywho, this is the one with the different 
the two different sides and the mirror in the middle so it makes it kind of hard to show without blinding you guys but it has the more neutral shimmers and then the colorful shimmers so it's really pretty and the shimmers are actually really nice but yeah unfortunately i can't remember what the name of this is but yeah it's really pretty very unique and interesting packaging <laughs> Okay, I have a couple of M -M -M Mitchell palettes. This was the first one that he did, well, that I know of, that I picked up from Beauty Bay. So this was his collab with Beauty Bay. Very interesting <laughs> packaging, to say the least. But it's kind of cool. It has this removable mirror on the inside. And then these are the colors in this palette. So... You have, you know, your deep, dark, smoky, cool tone sign. And then you have your bright, beautiful, light, you know, kind of like ready, warm tone side. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's some nice shimmers in here, nice mattes. But, yeah, that's that. And then this is from his actual brand, uh, Made by Mitchell. This packaging is really nice, really pretty. I showed the green one or green toned one in my first video, I believe, with my grungy palettes, which is the feet on the ground. This one is head in the clouds. So this is what head in the clouds looks like. Super colorful, super gorgeous. Uh, just looking at this, it just makes me want to use it. It's kind of one of those palettes that's like all over the place and then the crazy background doesn't really help. So, you know, if you're not able to just kind of like separate the colors and pull them out <laughs> and figure out what you want to do, it could be a little bit tricky using palettes like this. But yeah, my eyes instantly go to those mattes and those beautiful shimmers. So very, very pretty. Let's check out some of these pure palettes. This is Pure Times Barbie. This is the latest one. I did a video actually using this whole collection. I wasn't going to because I kind of like to buy stuff like this just for display. But I wanted to play with the stuff, so I went ahead and <laughs> used it. So yeah, this is the latest Pure Times Barbie collab palette called Endless Possibilities 2. And this was the first Barbie and Pure collab that I picked up. I don't know if it was the first one ever, but this was the first one that I grabbed. This is Endless Possibilities, the original. Come on. There we go. Okay. And this is what she looks like. Mirrored background. But yeah, I haven't even used this yet. <laughs> Have not used this. Um, didn't plan on it, but actually I think I probably will. It's really cute. Next, I have this Crystal Clear. It's kind of like, it's called the Ultimate Face Palette. So it's kind of like shadows as well as, you know, face products. I don't know what it is with me in these like booklet type situations, but. <laughs> and this one is actually very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, it's nicely pigmented. I did use some of the face products. I know it doesn't look like I used it at all, but I did use this center area right here. Um, I haven't used the eyeshadows or anything yet. So anywho, that is what she looks like. And I think this was the holiday, holiday uh, palette for last year. Very pretty. Okay, let's do some Huda Beauty. So you guys are very familiar, I'm sure, with the small little Obsessions palettes. This is the Ruby Obsession. Very pretty. This is the Emerald Obsession. Mine's a little bit beat up, of course. I like this one, it's pretty. This one I have not used. I think I got it in a boxy charm. It's the Topaz Obsession. I think I actually got all of mine <laughs> in boxy charm or something or other. That's kind of pretty. This is the Huda Beauty Smoke Obsessions. I always think about my ColourPop smoke show whenever I open this up. This one looks like the black might end up falling apart soon, so I got to be careful with it. But very, very nice smoky palette. This is the Mauve Obsessions, and this is the first one that I ever bought when it came out. This is the Gemstone Obsession. Bought it, of course, because of all the beautiful 
gorgeous shimmery shims and have not used it on my eyes i think i swatched it but have not actually used it we got some neon obsessions which one is this i don't know this is the orange one and that's what she looks like and with these neon palettes it's like really hard for me to give them up i wasn't happy the first time i used them i used the pink one i think and it wasn't my favorite experience, but the palettes are so stinking pretty. It's like you just got to give it another chance, you know? I have to try it like a second or third time <laughs> to make sure that I don't like it. So I think this is the pinky, yeah. The pink one, just gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I need to just try these again and see what happens. Because the first time was a bust. And then this one is the green one which is interesting because there's only like two and a half green shades in here. <laughs> but yeah, that's the green one. And these are my other two larger palettes by Huda Beauty. I do have the Naughty and I did show that in my first video. This one here is the Rose Gold Remastered. I mean, I will give it to her even though she's got herself plastered all over the place. It is a gorgeous picture, <laughs> very pretty packaging, okay? And as you can see, I have not even swatched this. I bought it when it went on sale, I think maybe the last holiday season or something. And I really just wanted this in my collection because I'm like, I got to check it out. So this is the remastered. And this one is the Mercury Retrograde. Not really something that I would say is made for women of color, but what got me with this palette is the shimmers because I don't care what you say about this palette, the shimmers are out of this world, okay? I did do a video using this palette and I really did love the look that I created, so I have no complaints about it. It just could have some shades that go a little bit deeper, you know, for us, but honey, these shimmers bomb okay let's run through some dose of colors i have a few visi arts here but this is the dose of colors blushing berries i did get this in a boxy charm uh, it's okay it's just okay this is a cutting edge i did purchase this not too long ago have not used it oh my goodness it's so gorgeous <laughs> But yeah, I have not used this at all, but it is so freaking pretty. This one is the Smoky Soiree. I did pick this one up the same time that I got the green one. I just love like smoky tone palettes for some reason. They're so just pretty to me. This is from Artist Couture. What is this called? Midnight Maven, I believe. And I did receive this as a gift from my girl Lily. Y'all know she always be spoiling me like crazy. This palette is so pretty. Let me, oh, no. <gasps> Crisis diverted. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this palette, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I've got to play with this. Look at this, this quad right here. You know how pretty that eye look would be? Oh my goodness, but it's gorgeous. Got some Vizzy Arts here. This is the Dark Edit. Absolutely amazing. Very powerful. <laughs> Teeny tiny little palette, okay? It is very, very small, but this palette packs one heck of a punch. Shimmers are amazing, and the mattes are really, really nice. I did a video with this palette as well. Another gift from my girl, Lily. This is a Vizzy Art palette that I actually grabbed from the Boxy Pop-Up. It's the Libertine. Y'all know the Boxy Pop-Up be having like some serious deals, okay, on some palettes that you might want. So that's what this one looks like. Very pretty. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's really cute. Now this palette I actually got in my Boxy Charm just a few days ago. Um... And I didn't want this one. I wanted the one that had like the blues and purples and stuff in it. And I just knew they was going to send me that one. So I wasn't even thinking about it. Because, you know, my profile is bold, bright, colorful. But this is the one they sent me. <laughs> so it is what it is. This is the neutral matte. So 
I mean, you know, it's useful in some ways, but not what I wanted. Okay, you guys, let's run through some Violet Vaults. <laughs> These are some of the smaller palettes. This is Le Macaron. Le Macaron, fun sized. And this one has like the really pretty shimmers in there. Very pretty. This one here is the Sweet Violet. I am so, so tempted to get that blue in you guys, but I said I wasn't going to get it. But if it goes on sale... I might have to grab it. <laughs> this one is gorgeous though. So pretty. I picked up these Best Life palettes <laughs> from the Boxy. Was it the Boxy? No, I bought these I think from Ulta. Sephora. Honey, I don't know. But I bought them when they were on sale. And even with buying them on sale, I think Boxy had them for even cheaper so I was really pissed off because I paid more for them but this is one of the best life palettes it's really gorgeous but if you don't like glitter you won't want this at all <laughs> it's a lot of glitter but it's very pretty and this one is the best life too so you know same format but just a different color scheme this one is a little more muted you know a little less um, colorful but it's still absolutely gorgeous nonetheless I don't know if you guys can see that good I have it upside down but <laughs> you get the gist a lot a lot of glitter but it's very very pretty I think these are gorgeous actually now this is a palette that I've had for quite a while it's the Violet Voss Rainbow eyeshadow palette packaging is gorgeous um, the shades are really pretty these are not like the best shimmers that I have in my collection. So I can definitely see myself decluttering this fairly soon. But it is a really pretty palette though. It's very pretty. Some of my newer palettes. This is the Coral Crush. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that just look like, just like a juicy peach? Like a summer, a juicy summer peach. Gorgeous. I have the Sakura Blossom, Sakura Blossom, and this is like the pink version <laughs> of the one we just had, or the one we just looked at. Oh, that's so pretty. Man, that's gorgeous. This one is the See You Later. I did um, actually do a video using this. I never edited it and put it up. I actually still have it. I was not very pleased when I used this palette. The look came out nice. It was really pretty, but the actual experience that I had using this was not the best. The shimmers are really pretty, but the mattes took a lot of building up for me. So I don't know. I might have to try using it again, but yeah, created a pretty look. It was just more work than I felt like it should be. And this here is the Violet Voss Pro. This is the hashtag. And so that's what she looks like. I believe I got this from the Boxy Pop-Up as well. Let's go ahead and dive into these melt palettes right quick. So this is the only melt stack that I have. Um, it really blew me away when it came out. <laughs> no pun intended. So this is the Blueprint stack. And they actually announced that they are going to be coming out with the palette of these shades and I'm probably going to get that because even though I really love the color story of this stack and the idea is like really cute and all that stuff all the shades in a stack it's annoying and I never use it so <laughs> I'd rather just have a palette instead of this stack but if you're not familiar with the melt stacks you know they come like these with these removable pieces so this stack has these shades, these shades, these shades, which is my favorite section of this stack, and then these shades. So this is the whole color story for this stack, which, you know, is really pretty. It's really gorgeous. Um, I don't know. A lot of people had issues with using these. I didn't. I liked them a lot. <laughs> And a lot of people's stacks came broken. So I know this was kind of like a, a frustrating launch for a lot of people. 
but for me it wasn't too bad i actually really like the shadows but the idea of having to you know unpack this stack to use it is something apparently that i don't want to do so that's the blueprint stack this is the she's and parties palette this was a gift from my girl lily and honey i need to use this look at that oh this is so pretty <laughs> yeah i need to use this i might have to pull this really really soon for a shop mustache it's gorgeous this is the smoke sessions and i'm one of those that actually really loves um using melt palettes i really do i love them i think they're gorgeous and they're fun to play with so i like their palettes 100 percent this is the rust i forgot i had this <laughs> quite honestly you know i mean look at it but yeah i forgot i had it i used it once and i don't really think that i put my all into that look so i need to use it again just you know i don't know but yeah i have this and lastly i have the vida and the muerte palettes and if you're familiar with them you know that they go together like this super duper cool okay <laughs> so let's take a look at the vida so this is what the vida looks like oh man Every time I look at these palettes, it's just like so, oh, it's just breathtaking. So this is Mavida. Beautiful reds, orange, and green. And then you have this little cool tone section here in the center. But that's the Vida. And this is the Muerte. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. So. This is the Muerte. And this one is my favorite, although they're both extremely gorgeous. This one is just near and dear to my heart because I love blue. So, very pretty. Now, these palettes, because they are so pigmented, are not necessarily the easiest palettes to work with. <laughs> I know they're not available anymore, but, you know, if you do get your hands on them or if you have them and you, you know, find them a bit difficult to work with, you know, they are very pigmented, so... They can be a little tricky to work with. Okay, so I also have this palette here from Rare Beauty. Pick this up. I thought the packaging was gorgeous. It's kind of trying to cancel out all the light. There we go. But this one was the one, dang, I can't read this at all. Confident Energy. <laughs> and it had like the blue and green in it. So, you know, it fit my personality more so than the other one. So I did grab this. I have a couple of Nabla palettes. This one is a cutie palette. And that's what the cutie looks like. This is the Nabla Dreamy 2. I haven't really dived off into my Nabla palettes. I've kind of swatched them, played around with them a little bit, but as far as really developing an opinion about them, I, I don't really want to say because at this point, I would say I don't really care for them that much, but I feel like I kind of need to get more familiar with them to really know how I feel because their shimmers are not all the same. Their mattes, I don't feel like they're all the same. So yeah, I don't know. This is one that I got in my Trend Mood box, the side-by-side -side nude palette. This one is actually really pretty to me. I love how they did this layout. It's really gorgeous, so... I like this a lot. I have a couple of palettes here from Mayali Beauty. One of the palettes that I have from them already showed, I believe, in my first video. So this is the Yasmin. And I absolutely love this palette. <laughs> I love this color story. I love the eye looks it creates. It's just really pretty. This could have actually gone with my Sunset or sunrise color story because it has the purple the orange the pink the yellow so yeah this should have been with my sunrise color story and this one here is the ayubia from mayali beauty and this is what she looks like very colorful very beautiful technically could have been in my rainbow color story as well but here she is that purple down there is amazing. 
Okay, I have here a few more random palettes where I really only have like one Z, two Z. The, what is this, Sigma? I do have a couple more Sigma, but I showed those in my first video. So this Marc Jacobs, I did buy this from the Boxy Pop-Up because I just wanted to have a Marc Jacobs palette in my collection. <laughs> so why not buy it from the Pop-Up where you can get a good deal? So that's what this one looks like. Beautiful purple tone palette. Next, I have this Volcano Goddess from Becca. Bought this during the holiday season last year, I think. Well, 2019, I should say, because now we're in 2021. And it was a total joke. Like, <laughs> I bought this, I don't know, I think it was Lily that talked me into getting this palette with this one pop of blue down here and two other shades that I can use in it. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous palette. It's just not made for me, okay? But it is really pretty. This here, ooh, this was supposed to be with my dose of colors. I have those smaller palettes, but I kind of keep this one separate because I, you know, have this on my shelf kind of like for decoration. But this is the Desi and Katie Francation palette, of course. And this is what she looks like. Sometimes I just pick her up and swatch her. <laughs> I do have a video using this palette when it first came out though, but it's really pretty. This is the Kat Von D Anniversary palette. And this palette is not still in my collection because it was a gift. So this is the only Kat Von D palette that I still have in my collection. And it's actually quite pretty. <laughs> it really is so I'm very very thankful that it was given to me because she is gorgeous this Sigma Enchanted oof oh my goodness I opened her up them shimmers hit me like hello <laughs> they're so pretty it's like this palette has a lot of kind of like neutral feel to it but that dark green, that black, and then those shimmers, it just kind of takes it to a whole nother level for me. Very, very nice. Can't wait to use this. And then I have my Plain Jane palette from Adept Cosmetics. Okay, they came out with this palette not too long ago. All shimmers, like duochrome, um, like, what do they call these? Like illuminating shadows. Oh. They're just gorgeous. Look at that. The background is trying to cancel everything out, but you see them. You see them. If you want to see some swatches, I did swatch it on my Instagram. So yeah, this palette is amazing. Amazing. Okay, another one of my favorite indie brands, Nomad Cosmetics. This is new to my collection, the Studio 54 um, eyeshadow palette. They are all beautiful duo multi-chrome type shimmers so gorgeous and i can't wait to play with these this one here is the toscana palette i picked this up when they had their holiday sales look how pretty that is you guys and it has the imprint of a cute little scooter in there so cute <laughs> so glad i grabbed this during the sale because it is it's really pretty this one here is the nomad marrakesh I did go ahead and grab this during their sale. I've been wanting this palette for so long. And I think when I went to get it, it was like out of stock or something. So when it came back, oh, I jumped on this mug so fast. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Marrakesh. Just everything about their palettes being travel themed, the packaging. It's just, it's so cute and I love it. So this one is the Nomad Tokyo palette. I think it has another name like Hirajuku, but this is the Nomad palette or the Tokyo palette. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite palettes from them because those shimmers, that bottom row, they are so gorgeous. Oh, I know I'm not supposed to be swatching, but whatever. Look at that. Hello. Okay. Like what? Listen. Can you see those on your eyelid, honey? They are so <laughs> pretty. I love them. So anyways, this is one of my favorite palettes from them. And then the Nomad Orient Express. They actually sent this to me to try out. I love this palette as well. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. 
beautiful shimmers and mattes. It's a very, like when you look at it, you might be like, hmm, that is a strange color story, but it's kind of like, it's laid out really nicely. I like how they have the two greens, the two blues, the gold. You have plenty of neutrals and the yellow. And then this shade here, it's like some kind of interesting, like shimmery, that's too close, like shimmery type dual chrome thing. And then this blue, it's just, oh. listen, listen. What? So that's the Orient Express. Okay, so next let's go ahead and run through my Anastasia Beverly Hills or ABH palettes. I do have some of these tiny ones here from the Norvina collection. So these are like miniatures of the larger ones. This is the Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. So this is the one that's like pinky purple themed. Very pretty, cute little travel palette. This one, I love this packaging. <laughs> this one is the volume two, and that is what she looks like. Another gift from my girl, Lily. Oh, look at that. And this one is the volume three, and that's what she looks like. I did do a video creating a look with this palette, <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. Now let me go ahead and dive into my stack of, you know, the basic ABH shaped palettes. This one is the Riviera. I love the cute little boat themed, yacht themed packaging. So cute. That's what she looks like. I really like this palette. <laughs> this color scheme is right up my alley. I really like it a lot. This one is the Alyssa Edwards. I had to have this in my collection, you guys, and didn't even use it. I don't know why, but it is really, really bold and bright. But I think the pink background makes it seem a little bit bolder than it actually is. But yeah, I'm definitely going to pull this in one of my shop my stashes because I need to use it. This one, the Modern Renaissance. I know, mine's a little... <laughs> rag a day but my palette is still nice and neat because I don't use it that much <laughs> not at all this is not really my color vibe this is more of like a I gotta buy this to be a youtuber type purchase so yeah if this came out today I, I would not buy this this is the soft glam I like this palette a lot too the shimmers are beautiful Definitely creates an amazing soft glam eye look. That's a perfect name for this palette. This is actually one of my favorite ABH palettes. This is the Prism. This is kind of like more my vibe when it comes to ABH. The green, the blue, just creating a gorgeous smoky eye with this palette. is I love it. I love it, love it. So this is one of my favorites. This Norvina. <laughs> I mean, I broke down and bought this palette. I said I was not going to buy this little super fair, light, wannabe purple tone palette. But of course, I ended up getting it. But yeah, for the longest, I was like, nope, I'm not buying it. It's not made for me. And I still feel that way. But the shimmers are gorgeous. This one is the Amrezy. Love, love, love this packaging. And I actually love this palette as well. The colors that she chose for the shimmers. This is one palette where I'm very, very happy that she threw that pop of blue in there because it is so vibrant, pigmented. It's gorgeous. I really love this palette. You know, it's something fun for people who buy a lot of ABH palettes and don't really get to experience the color. You know, I think this one is fun. The Jackie Ina collab palette with ABH. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of my favorites. I feel like this palette was made for me, you know, had me in mind when it was being created. So I do appreciate that. It's super pretty as well. And the sultry, you know, this is the only one that I still have the box to. And I don't even know why, because the palette itself is actually more gorgeous than, you know, the box. It's just... Ugh. It's gorgeous. So anyway, this is the Sultry. Oop. And this is what the Sultry looks like. I mean, yeah, this is what the Sultry looks like. <laughs> That's 
all I have to say about it. It's actually a really nice palette, but yeah, it's it's not much to say. Okay, let me run through my larger Norvina collection palettes. I know you guys have seen these a bazillion times. I did do videos on my channel using these palettes. I think they're gorgeous. I really do. They're just, they're beautiful. And with them being, you know, pro pigment type palettes, they can be a little tricky to work with, but you know, I like a challenge. So I like these palettes. This one is volume two. And that's what volume two looks like. What I like about this one is I like how they threw in those pops of pink in here. I feel like it's very unexpected in like a blue green toned palette, those pops of pink and that orange. Yellow you might expect, but the pink and orange is something different. So it kind of gives it a different type of feel. Next, I have volume three, which is the one that I always call the Scooby-Doo palette. Because these colors just make me think of Scooby-Doo when I was a kid growing up. You know, with the green machine and all of that. <laughs> very, very pretty. This purple shimmer down here, really, really nice. And this one here is the volume four. I call this my, like, Valentine palette. Because it screams Valentine's Day to me <laughs> with the pinks and the purples. I used this palette once, but I think I only used like two shades out of it. So I don't think that really counts. <laughs> so yeah, I do need to dive into this a bit more. Okay, another random palette that I actually just purchased not too long ago. I was watching um, a video of someone talking about this or using it. And I was like, you know what? I want to check that out for myself. I know it's gotten like mixed reviews, her whole, you know, makeup collection or whatever. This is the Stupid Love palette from House, is it House? House Laboratories, which is the brand from Lady Gaga. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I wanted to try it for myself. So she has a little artistic, you know, photo in here as well. And this is what her palette looks like. It's just, it's so pretty to me. And I've actually heard some people that really, really like it and some people that absolutely hate it. So, you know, in those instances, I feel like I need to try it for myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's really pretty to me. So I just added this to my collection recently. I have a couple of palettes here from Lime Crime. This is the Venus 3. Very pretty, small, like purpley toned palette. Got this from my girl Lily. She sent it to me. I was so, so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh. And it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. I also have this Venus Excel here, which is, you know, that like super deep kind of red toned palette. I love the colors in here. I really do this Botticelli. It just, it gets me every single time. Has beautiful like coral shades, pinky shades. So it's a really pretty palette. It's not like my best, most amazing formula, but I really like having this in my collection. And then lastly from Lime Crime, I do have this Greatest Hits Bangers. Honestly, I don't know why, what made me buy this. If it was the packaging because I love roses so much or if it was because of the way that the shimmers look to me, I really felt like this palette just had some gorgeous shimmers in here. But just spending more time looking at the color story, it's it's a little blah, it is. But the shimmers kind of help to give it a little bit more life, but... Other than that, it is kind of like a blah, blah looking palette. So I don't know y'all, but I got it. <laughs> okay, so I have a couple of random palettes before I run through my Tarte. This is from the Brow Bar by, I don't know what that says, but it's called Drama Queen. And I actually got this in a BoxyCharm, I believe. So it's not something I purchased, but I did actually keep it because I thought it was gorgeous. <laughs> It is really pretty to me. So yeah, I got that. This I did purchase. This is the NARS. What is it? One of their newer ones, the Extreme Effects. I've been wanting a NARS palette in my collection for the longest. And so 
but I didn't want to pay the price. So when this went on sale, I snatched it up real quick because <laughs> it's actually a palette that I feel like is deep enough for me to use, you know, because a lot of their palettes is like, nope, can't use that. So I went ahead and grabbed this when it went on sale. Now let's run through some Tarte palettes. This, of course, I got from BoxyCharm. This is the Dream Big, and this is how she opens up. Very basic, typical Tarte, <laughs> nothing fancy. This is the Tartiest Pro Remix. I fell in love with this palette when it came out, like, I don't know, in 2019 sometime. Fell in love with it. Just love the fact that it was a Tarte palette that actually had some punch to it. And I actually really enjoyed using it. So, yeah, I don't know if I'd really enjoy it too much right now, but at the time I really did. Background is a little busy, but there's some gorgeous shades in here. This Tardis Pro palette, I got this from BoxyCharm as well. And that's what she looks like. And although she is quite basic, I think she's really pretty actually. Now let's take a look at some Tarte palettes that <laughs> I purchased a good portion for packaging but they still are really 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 pretty palettes so let's look at this one here this one I actually got this one from my BoxyCharm you know BoxyCharm was real good with giving out Tarte palettes this is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 but the packaging is gorgeous so it looks really pretty on the shelf you know so this is what she looks like yeah as you can see this is just like the epitome of boring to me. And I actually almost gave it away, but I really did keep it just for the packaging because I like how this looks on my shelf. This one here, definitely purchased for packaging. This is like the most beautiful clamshell ever. It is so gorgeous. I don't even know what the name of this palette is. I just know it's beautiful. So yeah, and that's what she looks like. Same basic boring shades with a pop of blue, a little bit of a mauve pink in there. Nothing phenomenal. <laughs> That's why she's not used, but she is so, so gorgeous. This is my Tarte Pineapple Palette. I think this might have been a holiday palette a couple years ago. I don't know the name of it, and I can't even read that. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too much glare. But, you know, if you guys are familiar with Tarte Palettes, then you know about this one so this is what this one looks like on the inside they actually had some usable shades in this one <laughs> you know like some darker shades down here beautiful purple beautiful shimmer so yeah this is one that i can actually use this side not so much no 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 but the eyeshadows yeah i can definitely use those but i love my little pineapple she's gorgeous this palette here I got in Vegas with my girls, Levi and DJ. When we went to BeautyCon two years ago, I grabbed this uh, from Sephora in Vegas. So this has like serious special memories for me. But this one, even though it says Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free, it's called something else. Um, let me see if it's on the inside. Mm, no, but I, I don't remember the name of this, but it's called something else. And... This palette is actually really pretty, even though it's just like neutrals, pop of blue, of course. It actually has some gorgeous shades in here. So I did purchase this with the intent of using it, but the packaging is gorgeous. Now this one was purchased for the packaging as well as the inside because they are both gorgeous. But you can see that water moving around for the little turtle. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. This one is high tides and good vibes. And this is what <laughs> she looks like. Sounds like she needs a little oil in her joints, huh? But yeah, that's what she looks like. Ugh. Ain't she pretty? If you don't like glitter, of course, once again, you probably won't like this. But these blues and even these neutral warm tone shades, so gorgeous. I did do a look using this and I did use the blue glitter, I believe. But yeah, so pretty. I love this palette. I need to oil her joints though. She's kind of squeaky. <laughs> okay, you guys. So let's take a look at some of my Fenty Beauty. This one, I always forget the name of it, the Galaxy palette. So as you can see, it's kind of like colored chrome type looking palette. 
not one of my favorite palettes at all <laughs> but you know it's cool to have in my collection very very glittery oh my goodness super glittery but you guys have seen this before this is more of like a highlighter palette i guess but it's one that i would more so use on my eyes it's the kilowatt foil palette and so you know they're supposed to be highlighters but with these colors i would definitely use them on my eyes very pretty it was on sale for the longest time so i'd be surprised if everybody doesn't have it <laughs> and then this one is the moroccan spice oh i really like the packaging on here gorgeous the palette was just okay to me i mean i don't know it's just none of her palettes really have that punch of color honestly this palette caused me not to purchase any of her snap palettes or whatever they're called you know the snap shadows <laughs> i can't even talk i'm so tired you guys but yeah this palette caused me to not purchase any of the snap shadow or snap palettes that she came out with because i didn't really care for this formula that much it was okay but yeah not what i would expect from fenty beauty you know Okay, now I do have a video going through my Too Faced palettes already. Just a standalone video um, giving my thoughts on them. So I'll just run through these right quick. This one is my Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry. <laughs> I really like these palettes. They smell good. They perform nicely and they're really, really pretty. This is my Palm Springs Dreams palette. Is it called anything else? cocktail party eyeshadow palette <laughs> so it's one of those names and this is what she looks like very very gorgeous i did drop her a couple of times so i had to fix her but she's still pretty this is a Too faced natural matte palette um i'm pretty 100 percent positive that i got this in my boxy charm and it's really a really pretty packaging look at that it's like rounded you know curved very pretty you know basic neutral everyday as people would say <laughs> type palette gorgeous not everyday for me because it's very you know this would not be an everyday palette for me this would be a every blue moon palette for me this is my pretty rich palette and that's what she looks like let me run through the ogs right quick this one is the Sweet Peach. Honestly, I kind of feel like I'm about ready to get rid of these because I just keep them just for nostalgia's sake. This one was actually a gift from my daughter, so I know that's why I won't get rid of this. But like this chocolate bar, honestly, I'll, I'll never use this. <laughs> I definitely have this in my collection just because it's an OG Too Faced palette, you know, so... I don't know we'll see still smells like chocolate too that's crazy this one is my chocolate gold i'm definitely going to keep this just for the packaging alone but my favorite shade in here is this green but the shimmers in this palette oh so beautiful beautiful um multi-shimmer two-faced palette you guys hear my dog i swear he's just forever howling seriously Bosco knock it off okay I have my Too Faced natural nudes born this way palette yeah we've already had this discussion so we don't have to have it again I don't know I bought it because it was on sale okay it was on sale <laughs> it's really pretty though it is every time I look at it it's really pretty it's just not meant for me that's all it's just just not meant for me this is the Too Faced and Marial Amor Caliente collab palette. I did use this in a video. Absolutely love it. I just got these two palettes recently, actually. <laughs> like I said before, I don't remember what it was that I was looking at, but at Sephora, I honestly had not been inside of an actual Sephora store in over a year, you know, with COVID and everything. So just like last month or whatever when i was out and about doing some shopping went to a sephora store saw these 
Too Faced Holiday Palace. And don't get me wrong, they're actually super cute. They are super cute, very pretty. But I'm telling you, it's something about those Sephora lights that gets me to buy stuff that I normally wouldn't buy. So this one, what is this called? They're the two holiday palettes, but they do have two different names. And I don't see it. And honey, this writing is way too small. So we're just going to take a look. So this is the first one. So it's just kind of like a basic neutral, you know, quote unquote, everyday palette. <laughs> <laughs> but the packaging is so cute you know the packaging does not match the inside at all and then this one here i really love it's like has a shiny type packaging this one has a little bit more pizzazz because it has like a couple of glitters that hot pink shimmer in there as well so yeah like i said i bought these i actually ordered them to have them delivered and when i got them i was like why did i buy these things <laughs> I remember looking at them in Sephora and I thought they were just the most gorgeous things in the world and I must have just been in a daze, okay? Because I hadn't been out of the house for who knows how long. <laughs> okay, so this is the Too Faced. Um, this was their anniversary palette a couple of years ago. Too Faced then and now. Super glittery, really pretty. I actually really like this palette, so... I doubt if I'll ever get rid of it, but it is super duper pretty. This is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. Another palette that has sentimental um, connection for me because my daughter bought me this for Mother's Day when I first started my channel like three and a half years ago. So yeah, my baby girl bought this for me. <laughs> she had no idea how much I was going to dive into color and absolutely love it. So even though this is not my style, I will always keep it. Okay, let's run through some Natasha Denona's. Um, even though I have a few Natasha Denona, not a super duper large amount, there are a few palettes of hers that I actually really, really want. <laughs> but she's so expensive that it's like, ugh, I gotta wait till they go on sale again. But this is the Love Palette, another... One of my Valentine's Day palettes. Pretty. I don't think it's deep enough or bold enough for me to just absolutely love it, but it is pretty. This one here is the Sunrise palette. Another gorgeous Natasha Denona. This one was a gift from my girl DJ. She really, really surprised me when she got me this. I was like, oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> Thank you. But it's so pretty. This is one of the palettes that I picked up during the sale. <laughs> um, I think this was like during the spring sale or something though, because I've had it for a while. Still haven't tried it out. I know this has gotten like mixed reviews. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But this bottom row down here has me intrigued. So went ahead and grabbed it. This is the Safari palette. Haven't tried this one either. Did purchase it on sale. I love having this in my collection though because I love mattes. So I really want to just kind of play around with this or just have it to use, you know, whenever I want to play with some of my indie brand shimmers and I want to just have a nice matte in my crease. So love having this. This is the Natasha Denona Gold. I got this recently on sale, so haven't had the chance to use it yet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes, she pretty. She pretty. And this is the Natasha Denona Blue Purple Palette. This was actually given to me, but she is a very, very beautiful, gorgeous palette. And the formula is bomb. These are some of my food-themed palettes. <laughs> this is my Bombshell Cosmetica Fresh Baked Chocolate Chip Cookie Palette. This is what it looks like. This is actually a palette that I am probably going to depot just because it's starting to look kind of crazy. You see how all the shimmers are leaking into the palette? So I don't know. I haven't decided if it's even worth the effort or not anymore because the last time I was playing with it, I don't feel like the shimmers were the same i mean they're still gorgeous oh okay i guess maybe it is worth it <laughs> 
but yeah i i really just want to depot these oh it's kind of chunky yeah i really kind of just want to depot these and add them to my singles collection but because the palette itself is looking kind of gross so there's that these are my two taco palettes this one is the glam light street taco picked this up not too long ago haven't used it yet but ugh, did you see that gorgeous gorgeous and glam lights shadows are very nice this one was their original taco palette <laughs> the viva taco that looks delicious delicious <laughs> And this is what this original taco palette looks like. I just love the rich, deep vibrancy of these colors. Yo, green eye look, beautiful red and purple eye look, smoky situation. I mean, this palette is so pretty and it's cute. Look at that. Onions, Mexican cheese, radishes, salsa, verde, carne asada. Yeah, this is a cute palette, okay? I like it. I have this Glam Light Ice Cream Dream. Uh, I love this palette. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I used it, created such just, oh, I love the look I created. And I want to play with it more. So I won't go on too much about this palette, but it's beautiful. It is. I would definitely suggest picking this up. It's amazing. I have some other Glam Light palettes like the Painter's palette and the Cake palette, but those were in my very first video. I know I keep saying that, but sometimes people will catch a palette collection video and they don't realize that they're on like the third or fourth one. So they don't know that there's more for them to watch. But yeah, I do have some more Glam Light palettes in my very first palette collection video in this series. So this one is the Glam Light Donut. It's cushy and squishy, as you can see, very cute. And this is what this palette looks like. Isn't she beautiful? This is just mm, gorgeous. Okay, gorgeous. I'm a makeup lover through and through. And it's because of the beautiful colors, just the gorgeous shimmery shims, the cute packaging. I really am. I love makeup just for all of it. How it looks on your eyes, how it looks on the shelf. I do. So... I'm just truly a makeup lover and collector, and I accept myself for who I am. <laughs> so this is the Glam Light Burger. I was just talking about this in my should I declutter this or should I depot this video? And I don't know. I'm still trying to decide, you guys. I still don't know. Once again, you know, the shimmers are leaking into the palette, but... The Glam Light formula is just so nice. And I don't want to depot this and then regret, you know, taking it out of this humongous burger packaging. I don't know, because it is quite unique. So, very pretty color story, but I'm on the fence as far as whether or not I'm going to keep these shadows in here. All right, you guys, we are getting close. I have a couple of MAC palettes. You know, I really don't have... A lot of MAC eyeshadow. I'm realizing that. I really don't purchase from MAC, honestly, at all. Um, it's just not a part of brands that really catch my attention. But this was the Aaliyah palette. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would say this accurately reflects Aaliyah. You know, when her gorgeous, beautiful, talented self was here with us. It's a pretty palette, but it's it's really boring. It really is. I'm not even going to beat around the bush. It's really boring. This was a gift given to me as well, so I will forever keep it. Plus, it's the Aaliyah palette, but yeah, it's really boring. This here was also a gift. This was the Mac and Jeremy Scott, kind of like radio, you know, looking palette. Super cute. Um, You know, one of those things that you'll just have in your collection and... You know, I mean, you could definitely use it. It's a pretty colorful palette, but I won't be using mine just because it's like a collector's thing for me and it was a gift. Okay, so let's take a look at some of my Sephora Pro palettes. I did kind of pick up quite a few of these when they went on sale last year. 
This one is the editorial. This one was actually a gift given to me a couple of years ago. So this was my very first Sephora Pro palette. Really colorful, a lot of bright mattes in here. They do have a drier formula for their shadows and the most recent ones, like the latest ones that they came out with, absolutely gorgeous color stories, but they are very, um, how can I say? They have a lot of kick up. I'll just say that. They have a lot of kick up, but they are nicely pigmented. But if you don't like kick up, then you probably won't like the Sephora Pro palettes. This one here is the Editorial 2.0. And so this is what she looks like. Colorful as well, not as bright as the first one, but this one does have really pretty shimmers, some more kind of like pastel -y type tones in here as well. So really pretty. This one here is the Warm palette. And this is what she looks like. Definitely warm tone. Really nice, beautiful pro palette. This one here is the Cool so it is very cool tone and it definitely has you know a pink vibe going on with it i guess i'm starting to realize that a lot of palettes when they do go cool tone you know adding the grays and they also add in like some pink or mauvey type shades so i'm kind of learning that as i go <laughs> this one is the new nudes and this is what she looks like this one is really pretty it's like um, a muted kind of like that sunset or sunrise vibe that I talk about all the time because it has the purple tones down here, the beautiful pinks, oranges. So yeah, it kind of gives me like a muted version of that sunrise type feel. And then lastly, this is my absolute favorite out of all of my Sapro, <laughs> Sapro, Sephora Pro palettes. This is the Smoky Jewels. And... This is what the Smoky Jewels looks like. And I'm pretty sure you can guess why this is my favorite. <laughs> She's really, really pretty. I do have a video using this and kind of like comparing it a little bit. Not, you know, through use, but just looking at it, comparing it to the Born to Run palette, which it really gives a lot of the same vibes of the Born to Run. So very pretty. And this is my last Sephora palette. This was a collab they did with Moschino. Moschino? Is it Moschino or Moschino? I think it's Moschino. But yeah, this was a collab that they did. And it's kind of like <laughs> a laptop type, you know, vibe. And this was a gift from my girl, Lily. So shocked when she sent this to me. But this palette is so pretty. Look at that. Isn't it cute? It has a little teddy bear. This is a brush cleaner. So you can use this to clean your brushes. And then it has all the gorgeous shades. And it has a really big full-size mirror in there. Hello. So yeah. But it's really cute. It's like the shape of a laptop. Okay. Like what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are on the home stretch, you guys. This is brand new to my collection, La Rock Pro, the artistry book. And so this one is not Low Rock. This is La Rock. <laughs> and yeah, I picked this up because for one, it's gorgeous. Hello. And I'm curious about their formula. So it's huge. So I can't really stand it up and show all the colors, but you can see them all here kind of laid out and it's beautiful it is beautiful so i can't wait to play with it and see what's happening these next two humongous palettes are from p louise i did already show my p louise worldy palette because i did show that in my purple green and blue themed palettes so this one here this is the first one that i actually bought which is the secret center palette <laughs> it took me the longest time to purchase this because I wasn't ready to spend that much on a palette, but when you look at this palette, look at the artistry, look at the size of it and the attention to detail, it's like, you know, a lot of that goes into play when it comes to the cost of the palette. You know, it has this beautiful hinge opening, 
the mirror that says P. Louise on it. It's just a lot going on to give you a whole experience when it comes to this palette. So that's why I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought this one. <laughs> but now, you know, I have a few of them. But this is just so gorgeous. Beautiful color story. I feel personally... Like there are a few too many neutral type shades in here, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but combining this along with the worldy palette, you have like a really huge, nice color story. So it's a gorgeous palette. I think the detailing is just absolutely beautiful. This here is my Love Tapes palette from P. Louise. And this one, I am seriously losing my voice, you guys. That's crazy. But this one was a gift to me from my girl, Lily, And it's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It's like I really don't want to use it. Look at those highlighters, you guys. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. But I'm saving it for, like, Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll do a whole series like I did. I did a couple years ago, like, a whole series using one palette. I got so sick of that palette, I was ready to throw it away after I was done with that series. <laughs> But this is really pretty. So I might include this palette in a Valentine's Day series because she's gorgeous. And the highlighters. Oh, I want to swatch that one so bad. Oh my gosh. Let me just let me just get a little, just a little swatchy. Oh, look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Man. Look at that. Oh, she purdy. She purdy. That is so gorgeous. Oh, anyways, yeah, beautiful palette. Okay, you guys, this is it. This is it. I saved Mother Pat <laughs> for last. <laughs> and you guys have no idea how happy I am to almost be through with this. Okay, so let's start off with this one <laughs> this one is from pat mcgrath labs this is the blitz astral quad nocturnal nirvana okay these names it's like seriously but let me open her up i mean the whole packaging experience and everything for pat mcgrath is just crazy so this is what she looks like and these are the shades now i did do um like a swatch comparison on my instagram uh can you focus please hello hello okay so i did do a swatch comparison on my instagram um for this palette along with some of my indie shimmers and i pretty much duped it out shade for shade so if you want to check that out, check out my Instagram because I did find some dupes for this, but it's a gorgeous palette. Next, I have here the Mothership Subliminal Dark Star. And so that is what she looks like. And I wasn't sure when I started buying Pat McGrath palettes if I wanted to collect them or not because she is so pricey. But I found that there are quite a few of her palettes that I just did not want. So I didn't, you know, go down the route of trying to completely collect all of her palettes. So this one is the Mothership Subversive Metal Morphosis. I just have some that I like. <laughs> so this is what this one looks like. This one is the Mothership Subversive La Vie in Rose. This one was actually another palette that was gifted to me. And this is what she looks like. Gorge. Very, very pretty. I think I've only used her like once, actually. I don't know. It's like Pat McGrath palettes are really pretty to me. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look, look let me see if I can get... Look at that. Look. What are you saying to me? Because I can't hear you because this is just too blinding. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to try and go through the smaller ones first. So this is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation. I think this is one that's not really one of my favorites. I don't know. I don't know. But it's not one of my favorites, the color story. Um, 
and I don't really know if I like how it kind of looks on my eyes you know it's not like it's deep and dark it's not like it's deep and dark of a green as I would want it to be I don't think you know it's gorgeous don't get me wrong but mm, it's just not my favorite okay so I just went through and kind of semi opened them all so that I wouldn't have to be dealing with that string <laughs> while I'm going through my video. So this is my latest Pat McGrath purchase. It was the Holiday Palette, the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity. And it took me forever and five million years to receive this, but we're not bitter. <laughs> so yeah, that's what she looks like. I know everybody is familiar with her, but she is gorgeous. Okay, so this one here, which one is this? Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. So that is the Bronze Seduction. I do have a video using this. This one here. I think this one probably has my favorite outer packaging as far as, you know, the face and everything. This one is my favorite. The Mothership 6 Midnight Sun. I mean... The shades inside aren't too bad either. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. Oh, she's pretty. Man, she's gorgeous. You see that? What? This one here is the Mothership 3 Subversive. The Decadence used to actually be my favorite. But after I started to kind of play with this one a little bit, I realized that this one actually might be my favorite. Just because the specialty shades in here, I don't know. They're just like out of this world, <laughs> in my opinion. They, they are out of this world. And so this one kind of became my favorite more so than the decadence look at that look at that y'all oh lord have mercy so let's take a quick peek at the decadence which is what number is this mothership four so yeah as you can see the decadence is the one that's like super colorful as far as like the blue and the gold and whatnot but yeah I really like the subversive better. And then I have the two rose palettes. Which one is this? This one is the Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2. Okay, so that's the second one. Let's take a look at the first one. This one I was able to get into the specialty packaging, which is annoying because, of course, I wanted the more deeper one in the specialty packaging, but it's all good. So this one is Mothership 7, Divine Rose. I'm just glad I was able to get either one of them in the specialty packaging, to be honest with you. That was like crazy, but... This is the Divine Rose. As you can see, she's not used or swatched or anything. She's just chilling, living her best life. And then lastly, we have the Divine Rose 2, which I really need to use because she's gorgeous. Look at her. Hello. She's so pretty. I don't even know if I've swatched her, to be honest with you. Sometimes my daughter will come in here and just start swatching my stuff. I'll be like, girl, are you crazy? Because I don't swatch my stuff really until I use it. So I'll be mad when people just start swatching my stuff. I'm running out of swatch spaces, y'all. So I don't know if you can see those, but man, y'all, these shimmers are just almost blinding me. They're so gorgeous. Anyways, so those are from the Divine Rose 2. Dang. Do y'all see that shift? That green and purple shift right there? Yo. And it's so smooth. It's like, 
I know I'm not going to be able to. Well, you can see the shift there. You see that green? Purple. Green. Purple. Green. Purple. And it's so freaking smooth. That's crazy. Okay. Now that I've got swatches all over the place. <laughs> that's it, you guys. That's my whole palette collection. Everything from the Ruta to the Tuta. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. This is part four. If you haven't watched parts one through three, definitely check them out. You don't want to miss it. If you have watched every single one of my videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate it because I know these are some long videos to watch just as much as they're super long to make. So, thank you so much for watching, hanging out with me. Let me know what palettes you have down in the comment section. Let's chit chat about it. And now I can put my palettes away and start actually making some makeup videos for you guys after I do a shot my stash. <laughs> so thanks for watching you guys and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!